In this InDesign tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding text in InDesign. One of the most basic tools here, actually, is the type tool. And that type tool can be accessed with the letter T on your keyboard. So that's going to be the shortcut key. It's also this little T over in your toolbar. Now this type tool, to type with, you can click and drag to create a text box. All text is essentially in a text box here in InDesign. And once we've done that, we can actually just type here. So we can we can type something, if you will. And now once we have this type out here or this text, we have some options. So if you're in the latest version of InDesign, you're going to have a properties panel here on the right hand side. And when you have text selected or a text box selected, you're going to have a lot of options over here. So these options could be the appearance, like the color of the text. That would be the fill. So inside of fill, we could choose blue, for instance, or any other swatch. And that will change the color of any of our highlighted text. Now we can also change the size of our text. If you click and drag to highlight it, we can look at the font. So we could change the font to something else, like active grotesque. We could change the style of the font if it has other styles, like thin or bold or extra bold. We can also change the size right here. So we can drop this down and make the size bigger, or we could even uh, just type in our own size there. We have line spacing, also called letting in graphic design. We have some kerning between letters or tracking, which would be the space between multiple letters if you have uh, you know, a string of, of text selected or highlighted here. We have paragraph options, so like aligning it to the right, to the center, to the left, or even justifying it to your text box. And also, any of these panels on the right-hand side can be opened up to show more options just by clicking those three dots. Like for instance, we can undo hyphenation in our text so that there's no hyphenation in this type here. We have bullets and numbering, and we have a few quick actions. And these quick actions come from this type panel dropdown up here at the top where we have a lot more type options. So if you want to insert special characters, open up the glyphs panel, uh, right here's the glyphs panel, you have character and paragraph panels, which are the same as what were in the properties panel over there on the right. You can do things like change the case of your type. So we can change it all to uppercase really quickly, just like that. Now this is a little bit too large. So we could click on our text box with the selection tool and we can drag on the corners to make the text box larger. So now the type fits in there and we can move this text box around and line it up. And we actually have text box options. So if we right click on this text box, we can go to text frame options. This is another spot that allows you to adjust some of the type. So for instance, maybe I wanted the vertical justification of my text to be aligned to the center of my text box. I could change that, preview it, and see now that my text is in the center of the text box or could be even at the bottom of it. So that's another way to make some adjustments here. You could also justify it so the top line will touch the top and it will spread out until the bottom line touches the bottom. So you could make some of those adjustments within your text box here as well. Uh, and so there's some options within the text frame that you can choose here. So that's pretty much all you need to know about adding text to InDesign. And I think from there, you guys can probably figure out how to, how to create your document and start your design here in InDesign.